Video players can be a great way to add a little bit of ambiance into your own VR levels. For example, you could use it to add an A-stack screen into a horror game and help put the player a little bit more on edge for an upcoming jump scare. Or even better yet, in a social experience, you can put together a short film or other sort of TV show or movie, so that way players are all able to gather around and watch it together no matter where they are in the world. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a very simple video player that you can add into your own VR levels. But before we go ahead and jump into that, if you enjoy this video and want to see even more just like this one, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And with that, let's jump right into the video. So let me go and give you guys just a quick little preview of what this is going to look like. So this is our video player in a level, as you can see right here. So if you actually look off to the right here, you can see I can quite simply just hit play and pause. And I'll show you this again at the end so that way you guys can see exactly how I added in these buttons. Uh, in case you guys don't know how to add in buttons for events or anything like that, I'll show you guys how to do that during this tutorial as well. And I'll show you guys again at the end so that way you guys can see that it's all working just as you would expect it to. So this is how our video player is going to look. And again, uh, something that's very nice about this kind of tutorial is that we don't even need to jump into a VR headset. We don't need to start up a desktop version in order to actually see what our video player is going to look like in the scene itself. We can quite simply just hit simulate and we can see what this is going to look like. Again, I'll show you all this again at the end so that way you guys can see exactly what this looks like and you guys can see exactly how to get this all set up and how you guys can test this video player for yourselves uh, with or without a VR headset. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'll show you guys exactly how all this works. All right, so before we can even begin setting up our video player in Unreal Editor, we first need a video that we're able to work with. For this example, I'm gonna be using a sample video. You're actually able to find this in Epic Games' own documentation, um, but I'll go and leave a link to the video itself down below if you wanna check it out for yourself and you wanna get this downloaded. Um, you will need a downloaded video on your computer that you are able to use for this tutorial. So do keep that in mind. Um, if you're using this one, go ahead and follow that link down in the description and hit download. So that way you guys are able to download this video as well. Once you have the MP4 downloaded, go to wherever you have your MP4 saved to. In this case, I actually have an empty folder that I'm just going to pull up since I had this prepared for this specific tutorial. Go ahead and also navigate to your Unreal Engine project. Make sure you leave this uh, mp4 folder open so that way we can grab this here in a second in your unreal engine project folder open up the content folder and in here you will need to create a folder called movies just as you see here and then go ahead and open up that movies folder and drop that mp4 into this folder now this is very important that you drop it into the folder called movies just as you see here uh, you will get a warning later on saying that this mp4 cannot be packaged if you do not have it in this exact folder so this is very important if you want to be sure you can package this video file later on if you're just concerned about testing at the moment it doesn't need to be in this exact folder you'll still be able to test just fine you'll just get that warning about packaging so just keep that in mind for later on go ahead and keep this movies folder open and go ahead and open up your project file uh, in this case, I'm just going to double click on the U project just so we have that and we can get that open. Once you're in your project, you will find that there is a folder called movies. But if you go ahead and open up this movies folder in the content browser, you will actually find that there is no file whatsoever here. This is completely normal since Unreal Editor doesn't directly use MP4s as you would probably expect. So this is why we keep the movies folder open in our file explorer. So go ahead and pull that back open. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop the file, the MP4 file into the folder in the content browser. And you will now find that you have a file media source. And if you go and open this up, you'll find that it, there is a file path to your video. Uh, if you do not have it in the movies folder, like I said, you will have a warning here letting you know that the video will not be packaged. Uh, but assuming that that file path is correct, you can go and close this window. Now we're ready to start putting together our media player for our video player that we'll be using here in a second. So to start out, let's go ahead and first open up our content browser and I'm going to make a folder called video player. Here we're going to put together a few assets that we actually need in order for our video player to work. First, I'm going to go and right click and under media, I'm going to create a media player asset. When you click on this, you will get a prompt asking about the video output media texture asset. 
Check this box and hit OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and name this media player just for simplicity's sake. Once I hit enter, you should now have two assets, a media texture and a media player. We'll start with the media player since this is going to be a good portion of what we need here. Once you have your media player open, you should see down here at the bottom a single file called sample video, which you may even recall is the same name as our file media source that we made earlier. If you double click on this, you should see your video start to play here in the preview. If you did, then that means that your video was set up correctly. In addition, if you leave this media player open and we head back into our content browser to open the media texture, you should see that your media texture is displaying the same video as well. This texture is what we'll be using in order to actually play the video to our plane here in a little bit. With that in mind, let's close both the media player and the media texture. Right click on the media texture and press create material. This material will be bound to our texture and we will use this material to display our video. Now finally, we're ready to put together our video player actor itself. So back here in the content browser, I'm going to create a folder called blueprints. And in here, I'm going to create a blueprint class of type actor. Here we will have a little bit of setup to do. First, let's go and create a plane, which I will call video player. I'm going to set this as the root component. I'm also going to make sure that this is a 16 by nine aspect ratio uh, that most videos are commonly in nowadays. In order to do this, I'm going to scale this to 16 along the X and nine along the Y. If we decide this is too big later, we can hit the lock and scale any one of these values to keep the same aspect ratio. Next, we also need to add a media sound component to our actor as well. This will be used to play the sound from our video. There's nothing more we need to do to this component, so we'll just go ahead and leave it here. With our component set up out of the way, let's go and jump into the construction script. Here we're going to set a material for our video player. So I will go down to variables and create a new variable. I'm just going to call this media material. Be sure to hit the I icon so that it is open. This will make the variable public and let us modify this material in the level in case we want to have multiple video players later on. I'll also go ahead and make this a type of material. Then back in the construction script, we'll make we'll take the video player plane and set its material to this new media material. Now, since that's all we need to do to the construction script, we're not going to go ahead and jump into the event graph. And before we begin anything, I want to put together a few more variables that we will be using in the event graph here. First, I'm going to create one called media player. This will be of type media player. Another variable called media source, and this is again going to be of type media source. And the last variable we're going to put together is going to be called playing, and this is going to be a Boolean. This is simply going to be used in order to tell us if we need to play or pause our video. Once we have our variables set up, let's jump back into the event graph. And we're going to go and remove the actor begin overlap and the tick. We won't be using either of these. Starting off in begin play, we're going to take our media sound and set the media player as our media player variable. In case you're wondering why we don't do this in the construction script, I found that this did not work unless it was in begin play for some reason. So you should know that no audio will play unless you are at least simulating the level. But video, will play just fine if you are not running your level. Next, we're going to set playing it to false just to make sure everything is set correctly. Also go ahead and take our media player and I want to bind the event to on end reached. This tells us the video has ended and so there's no point to pausing and playing. Using this binding, I'm going to create a custom event and we will just call this end video and we'll set playing to false just so we're able to tell when our video has finally reached an end. Now we're going to go and create our play and pause events, which you may even recall seeing in the preview. And I'll show you how all that is done right here. So I'm going to go and create a custom event called play. Then in the details for this event, I will set this to call in editor so we can run this event. This is what actually sets the button that we saw in the preview earlier. From play, we're going to get playing and create a branch. 
If playing is true, we're going to take our media player and just hit play. This will resume the video and assume that one is already playing. If this is false, on the other hand, we're going to take the media player and tell it to open a source. We'll take the media source variable that we created earlier at the beginning, and this will both grab our video and start playing it. We're also going to need to make sure playing is set to true at this point, since now we are finally playing a video. With play out of the way, now we can finally move on to the pausing. So this is going to be pretty simple. We're simply going to create a custom event called pause. And again, I'm going to check call in editor so that way we have that button in the details panel back in the scene. Then in pause, I'm going to grab the media player and just call pause. And that's it for our video player. So we can close out of that and head back to the level. Back in our level, let's go ahead and drop in the video player. And I'm going to rotate this so it's more facing the center of our level and not up at the sky like you see here. Now keep in mind, it may also be possible that you need to rotate this video player 180 degrees. Until we actually run this video player, we're not going to know if this is actually right side up. Then in the details panel, you should see the three public variables that we had made earlier, as well as the two buttons for the events that we had created. For the variables, we'll set the media source as the media source we imported at the beginning of the video. We'll set media player to the media player we had created. Then the media material needs to be the material we created with the media player's texture, which we can find from the content browser what the name of it is. Now that everything is in place, we can hit simulate here in the editor. Then we can click on our video player and hit the play button to play our video. As you can see, the pause will also pause our video and then we can hit play to resume it again. And that is how we put together a nice and simple video player that we can use in any of our VR levels. Now, the nice thing about this is, is that it doesn't just apply to VR as well. We can also use this in many other applications as well, such as desktop or console applications, for example. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And also, I'll give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters who you should see over here on the right-hand side. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.